Philadelphia Baseball History presents Philly's right-handed relief workhorse, Gene Garber. Baseball teams did not always employ a closer. There was a time when a relief pitcher came out of the bullpen to rescue a starter who had gotten into trouble in the middle or late innings and pitched two, three, or four innings to finish out a game. The conventional wisdom was to employ a good balance of left-handed and right-handed arms to put out the fire when the team found itself in a jam. Such was the case for the Phillies in the mid to late 70s when they began their rise to dominance in the National League East. While Philly fans today can all identify left-hander Tug McGraw's iconic celebration after striking out Willie Wilson to win the team's first ever World Series in 1980, few may recall his right-handed cohort who helped the Phillies emerge from perennial basement dwellers to a force to be reckoned with in the National League. That Phillies pitching arsenal included a quality right-hander, Gene Garber. Garber may best be known for his years with the Braves, where in 1978 he halted Pete Rose's chase of Joe DiMaggio's 56-game hitting streak record at 44. But statistically speaking, Garber's best years were with the Phillies, where he boasted a 600 winning percentage, posted a 2.68 ERA, and garnered 51 saves. The sidearm throwing workhorse intimidated batters out of a formidable Phillies bullpen with his baffling changeup. In 1977 alone, Garber appeared in 64 games, pitching 103 and one-third innings. During the 1977 NLCS, Garber became the first Phillies pitcher to win a postseason game since Grover Cleveland Alexander defeated the Red Sox in Game 1 of the 1915 World Series. In Game 1 of the NLCS, a Ron Say Grand Slam tied the game for the Dodgers in the seventh, ending Steve Carlton's outing. Gene Garber came in the game in relief, retiring four straight batters and earning the win before yielding the mound to Tug McGraw, who earned the save. Garber was also on the mound for Game 3 of the series, forever known to Phillies fans as Black Friday. Garber came into the game for the seventh with the score tied at three. The Phillies took a two-run lead into the bottom of the eighth. Garber had retired eight straight batters and found himself one out away from a Phil's 2-1 lead in the series. Unfortunately, fielding miscues and a blown call led to three runs for the Dodgers, dealing Garber the loss. In 1978, Garber starred the year with a record of 3-1 with three saves and a 1.40 ERA. In June, the Phillies traded Garber to Atlanta to reacquire starting pitcher Dick Ruffin. While the Phillies went on to win their third straight NL East title, Garber began his long tenure as the bright spot in the bullpen of a mediocre Braves organization. Phillies fans of the mid to late 1970s, however, still remember Gene Garber as a solid piece of a quality pitching staff. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any ideas for future videos, please let me know in the comments below. Please consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the future.